I like okay. exclusivity and faithfulness. I got open relationship. Oh. What's up lovers and friends? Are you ready for your first official assignment as an intimacy expert? And if you're not, it's too late because I'm throwing you out there in the field. You're going to watch a second date and using your knowledge of compatibility and the ingredients that make up a couple's shot at a healthy, harmonious connection, you're going to assess if this couple should continue on trying to pursue a romantic bond or if they're better off as friends. And to help Help you make the most insightful decision possible I decided to add a little a little oomph to this second date which of the 12 ways do you achieve orgasm oh man I had this couple do my entire self summary workbook and if you're not familiar the self summary workbook is from my book the game of desire it is phase one of my five phase strategy to making all of you and these individuals their own intimacy experts through a self summary workbook you should be able to answer the question number one what am I looking for in an intimate connection in order to feel loved and number two what am I like in an intimate connection when I love someone else and Priscilla is not a random person to me. She is actually one of six women that I worked with all of last year. Um, I am Priscilla. I am a 28 year old young mother of a 10 year old boy. If you don't know what I'm talking about at all, that means that you haven't listened to my audiobook, The Game of Desire. And if not, that's all good because I have you covered right now. This video is actually done in partnership with Audible and Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks. And now that they have Audible originals, their library is even vaster, more incredible and more catered specifically to what you love to listen to. So Audible has this incredible 30 day trial in which they're going to give you one audiobook and two Audible originals to see if you like the platform. The fun thing is using the Audible trial, that is the only way that I know of that you can listen to my entire audiobook read by me, The Game of Desire, for absolute free. So if you want in on this deal, all you have to do is go to audible.com slash shanbooty or you text the word shanbooty to the number 500 500. Again, it's audible.com slash shanbooty or you can text shanbooty to the number 500 500. All right, without further ado, you are about to watch a second date where the individuals are going to reveal and talk about their results from their self summary workbooks. And your job is to listen closely, watch their body language and then assess, are they going to be better off as lovers or friends? All right, so I wanna ask you, um, well, now that we're already on here, what's your turn on triggers? Mm, now that we're already on here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My turn on trigger, and I don't know if you'll know the term because I don't know what yours was, but it was cat and mouse. Okay, no, no, mom, mom was environment, but we'll. I, don't don't make that face. Why? <laughs> don't make that face. Go ahead. I just I didn't I didn't picture that one. Yeah. But okay. So I like to be teased as much as I like to do the teasing. Ooh. So I don't like it when when men are easy. Ooh. I, I kind of like to work for it a little bit. So my environment situation, I like moods vibes like i'm not necessarily saying you gotta have candles and mm -hmm. all that but i need the space to be clean you know <laughs> what i'm saying i need uh just the energy has to feel right like i can't go in there and your bed's all everywhere or something there's clothes in the corner like because now i'm like when the fuck did she wash clothes like, or <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm thinking about shit because it was I, this bed because I, I feel like as a grown man now i'm thinking about all the stuff the responsible stuff as a child like a younger guy i'm like i ain't worried about that but now i'm in here i'm like oh i can't i can't stroke looking at that in the corner like i don't <laughs> what is your apology language Ooh. My apology language yeah. is accountability. Mm. So I need people to acknowledge what they've done and for them to acknowledge that my feelings are valid about it. I'm a person that, I just need you to accept <laughs> responsibility. Like, right. Like if you're late and that caused us to miss something or me to miss something, then just own it. Like mm -hmm. it's fine, but if you just be like, oh yeah, yeah you know, I was doing this and doing that and da da da. That's not going to... Right. Because like, we can't move forward, I feel one like. One of the worst things you can tell me is, I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm like... Ooh. What about your attachment style? Boom. It is 
tequila. I'm a secure. You know, I've grown because I was grown, like okay. anxious, preoccupied before. What what uh like what was the shift that made you like kind of grow out of that into secure? I've done a lot of work. <laughs> so, like when I first read it, like secure felt like it felt like I was kind of like in my own world a little selfish. But I was like, that's mm -hmm. not what it means. Like I do care mm -hmm. if they care about me, but like. I'm just not gonna put all of my thought into that right. because if I do, I used to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna drive myself nuts. Why don't they care? I'm assuming you care about me. We're in this together until otherwise shown, really. Right. Because I can't sit here and like every day wake up and like, I mean, I said this to them, but they didn't say nothing back. Does that mean they don't care about like it's? Yeah. See, I used to before. I'm like, <laughs> oh, it's been. 30 minutes now, I guess I'm single again. <laughs> it was that oh, bad? Oh, they were in the shower. Never mind. <laughs> Love languages. Ooh. Let's talk about that. How do you feel loved? I had three that tied. It was <laughs> physical touch, acts of service, and words of affirmation. Well, what were yours? See, I scored equally on physical touch, words of affirmation, and quality time. Okay, so only one we had different was acts of service. Okay. Yeah. I went through a situation where I was trying a long distance, but I wasn't honest with myself or the, mm -hmm. or the woman. It, it sounded like a good idea. And See? I was like... You set yourself up? Yeah. Okay. It sounded like a good idea. And I was like, oh, let's try it. But then immediately I was like, I should have been honest with her and myself. And I mean, we got over it. We got over it. But it was just like, I need... It's not even, it's not even about sex. It's literally about... Right. Hey, I can see you over there. I can come mm -hmm. lay my head on you. I can, if you're in the kitchen, I can, you know, rub my hand across your neck. Right. I can, I'm if such a handsy person. Yeah, like I can touch your thigh when we're, when we're driving or something like that. You know, just that stuff, I don't know what it does, but it feels good. Like mm -hmm. I just, I just like the way it feels. So that's kind of your same ordeal. Mm -hmm. yeah. I am. I'm just, I'm a handsy person. So when my partner is with me, like I have to be touching them at all times. Mm -hmm. What is your current ideal relationship structure? I sound like a therapist. I got Ross and Rachel. <laughs> Modern monogamy. I like okay. exclusivity and faithfulness. So when I first did it, mm -hmm. it was monogamish. Oh, okay. But then I went back and I was like, I, I took the quiz again. Because mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I feel like I was rushing through. I feel like I need to really take my time, really true, speak from an authentic place. Mm -hmm. And when I did it, I got open relationship. Oh. I would love a relationship that fits my ideal mm -hmm. relationship structure right now. And when I say open and free or whatever, it doesn't even like, it doesn't have to be like sexual. Mm -hmm. I don't like a lot of rules. Like mm -hmm. I'm not a, yeah. I don't like a lot of rules. Like I don't like being out and say I'm at a bar and mm -hmm. I'm having a good conversation with a nice young lady. I don't want to be thinking in the back of my head, oh my God, my girl's going to kill me. You know what I'm saying? I feel <laughs> no, like... That makes sense. I, just, I don't like being constrained. Like, I'm a free person. Like, I don't like being that now. I do it, just... I, I just like being exclusive. Like, it, it, mm -hmm. I like couples goal pictures. Now, are you... Are you into... Are you just women i mean sorry just men be like women like not, not just women like what? wait where did that come from yeah yeah no no because it was a part of the, the <laughs> are you just women no wishful thinking huh no no i'm just asking i'm asking questions like are you just like you're like because me i think i forgot which question it was it was oh the kinsey scale yeah. i was like i love women i just have no attraction to men but right. i can recognize when somebody's handsome like you know what i'm right, saying right. but yeah no i'm not a attracted to me yeah like, i'm not yeah. really attracted to women yeah. i mean i've experimented in the mm -hmm. past but it's not something i'm like it's not my thing you know it was just fair enough yeah it happened it just was happened it, was it was it college days no <laughs> <laughs> you know that's usually they say where that's where everything <laughs> happens um what is your i cannot pronounce this jungian Jew, 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 who? I know. I'm just. <laughs> do you do you know what it is? Jungin. Jungin. Okay. Personality archetype. There you go. <clears throat> so I am an INFP. Ooh. Here, I, to make this simple, yes. I'll just read what it says. Okay. It says mediators are guided by their principles rather than logic, excitement, or practicality. And when deciding how to move forward, they look to honor, beauty, morality, and virtue. And they're led by the purity of their intent, not rewards or punishments. Oh, okay. I like that. Which like one that. are you? I feel like I have a little bit of that in me. But I'm a campaigner. I simply said, I love people who just live. 
they jump off the cliff and build the parachute on the way down. I feel like this is more something that you would ask a woman, but I want to ask you because okay. I want to see what your answer is. Which of the 12 ways do you achieve orgasm? When I initially put it, I was like, uh, rhythm. Like, rhythm gets me. Like, mm -hmm. if it's a slow rhythm and it's a constant rhythm, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is great. Because it's just that constant uh -huh. feeling good. If it's a fast rhythm, I like it. If it's a fast, 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 slow, <laughs> fast, 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 slow, I like that, too. Well, what, what did you pick, actually? <clears throat> or did you have an extensive no, essay no, no, type of answer? Extensive. Okay, all right. I, I need consistent clitoral stimulation okay consistent like consistent yeah clitoral stimulation yeah okay like even if it's like at the same time as penetration i need you to just play with it no i mean i can do it myself it's but you just easier that way but you just honestly. need it to be going yeah but i just need time. it to, like nothing too wild like just you know <laughs> you, <laughs> nothing too crazy don't get in my way while i'm trying to do this <laughs> just chill relax Busy. <laughs> okay um, well, first and foremost, I wanted to thank you for actually being transparent, <laughs> being honest, You're welcome. being true, because you don't get that a lot right. when you're meeting people. You don't get you don't get to be as open and vulnerable just because everybody's so reserved. And mm -hmm. I feel like you sat down with no expectations and kind of just let your mind and your heart do all the running and talking. So. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. you doing this and actually putting effort into this. <laughs> Listen, I put effort into everything <laughs> that I do. All right. That's what I do. And uh, I'd be glad to sit down and talk whenever. It was fun. I would appreciate that. But, um, yeah, this was, this was good. Thank you for letting me in your head and making it easy. Let's cheers to that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say the biggest thank you to Rome and Priscilla for their vulnerability and for allowing me to use them for this experiment. If you found this date interesting, you are going to find their first date incredibly fascinating and you can listen to how it went down by listening to my audiobook, The Game of Desire and with my Audible partnership, you can listen for free 99. Translation, for nothing, for, for, for nothing, it's for free. So if you go to audible.com slash shanbooty or you text shanbooty to the number 500-500, that's gonna get you access to Audible's 30-day trial. And my other favorite thing that Audible does is that you can send an audiobook to a friend. So if after you get finished listening to my book or any book, you can actually press a button to share it with someone else. And if they don't have Audible, they can listen to that audiobook for free. If they do have Audible, they can use one of their credits. I, I have three that I have to use. Maybe you can send an audiobook to me. Um, but what you can do 100% is make sure that you participate in this video. This is your chance to shine. I learned so much from you all. And I think that this comment section is going to be really, really fascinating. So I would love to know your assessment of the date you just watched. And furthermore, what's your final diagnosis? Lovers or friends?